All right, yo, what's up? My name is Petralis here, and welcome back to episode two of Pokemon Money Making Mania. This is a series where I'm trying to rebuild, really stock up some Pokemon, and at least make 500k per episode every day, and it's sort of a vloggy style Pokemon gameplay experience. Hilariously enough, the Lunar New Year event did surprisingly drop last night towards the end of day one. So now we have that as the moneymaker at our disposal, which is pretty interesting. I probably will be abusing that to some extent. And it's perfect because we are starting today at 3.5 million Pokean, a perfect checkpoint to be aware of. So first things first, just as usual, I'm going to start things off by doing my gym run. Alright, here we are after the gym run. Less Pokean gained than yesterday because I didn't end up doing some of the extra rich trainers at the end, but that's okay. We still did get around 260k or so, uh, but now it's time to figure out what I want to do next. Maybe grind the event. This might be a really good event to just sort of AFK grind uh, and be pretty casual and chill about it. Since they added open queues or matchmaking queues to this event, it's a really, really big deal. I feel like I almost could make an entire video talking about that. All right, here I am about to queue up for the event. I think I'm currently sitting at around 18 red envelopes. So we'll see how much extra I make on top of that. That's from the 2023 ones. Uh, I'm excited to see how much Pokemon we make today. And I actually have a ton of listings sold uh, on the GTL as well. So if you stick around, you'll be able to see me collect all of that. We're going to make some really nice Pokemon today. I'm, I'm pretty excited. But I'll see you guys after each game. I'm going to grind for maybe an hour, maybe a couple hours if I'm lucky. Uh, and we'll see how many envelopes I get and how much Pokemon that equates to. All right, I ended up farming about an hour and a half of the event, and I did get up to around 34 red envelopes. Unfortunately, I made a monstrous mistake. Hopefully, me telling you guys about this will prevent some of you guys from doing it. I ended up logging out to exit from the second session. And what happened was I logged out and then didn't reconnect to my previous session to essentially leave the instance. I thought that was the right thing to do. That was incredibly wrong. I ended up losing all of my rewards from that session. Super stupid mistake, unfortunately. But what can you do? That's what happens. Got to learn, I guess. Um, so if you want to leave your session, remember to always go over to your name on the left side of the hand screen and click leave link. Always leave the link. Never log out like I did. Hopefully I can prevent some of you guys from losing some envelopes that way. But I'm going to head over to this Eevee Swarm, try to catch some of them, and maybe we'll make some decent profit. I'm also going to go eventually probably open up some of these red envelopes, as well as collect my GTL listings, and that'll be a nice pokey end day. Okay, ended up with a 1x31 Eevee in speed. That'll actually catch me a pretty decent price, I'm pretty sure. I can go to price check that really quick. Eevee with 31 speed, currently going for the lowest price, around 10k or so, not bad. All right, unfortunately, I, think I missed out on the other two EV spawns, but that's okay. I at least caught one one times 31. Definitely better than most swarms on average. Gonna go ahead and list this one for the like 9k it was. I'm curious, what's the base price of just any sort of EV at the moment? Looking like around 2k. I could rate this is like all everything's everything's rush listed. So everyone's panic selling at the moment because of the swarm. So what I'm gonna do personally, probably just, I mean, actually, honestly, not gonna make much of a difference yeah honestly over the grand scheme of things i'll just sell for the 1998 price as well the issue is even if i wait like days or i have to wait like weeks probably for it to really drop back to any sort of reasonable price there's just probably so many ev swarms happening right now uh due to all, all of the event swarms uh but you guys might have seen there's a lot of pokey in here to be claimed so honestly let's go ahead and do that clip why not all right three two one let's see the number down here four hundred and eighteen thousand also claim this extra bit of Pokemon over here, putting us at around almost 4.2 million. Definitely rebuilding super, super strong. Love to see that. I'm also going to go ahead and sell off, I think, just nine of these red envelopes because I want to be able to do a 25 opening for a video. All right, going to go ahead and list those for around 5k a piece. That's like 45k. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but you know what? Uh, it's helpful on the rebuild for sure. And there they go. They're pretty much insta sold, which is super nice. So an extra 45k added. Let's go ahead and do that. I wonder if I can try to get my Pokemon cash stack off to an even amount before jumping into day three. While we're listing things, let's go ahead and list this Alpha Bayonet the other day that I caught from a swarm. Probably one of the cheaper swarm Pokemon. Just gonna go ahead and list this thing for 40k. Really the best I'm gonna get. But it's pretty easy, pretty, pretty quick and simple. It was a pretty easy catch. Free 40k, I'll take it. May have paid like 5k or so in Pokeballs, so maybe it cost maybe it's like a 32k profit after fees and Pokeballs. Not bad at all. Pretty short amount of time. 
All right, but I'm going to be totally honest. Things have been super hectic due to the event and everything. And all the videos I've been having to rapidly do. Going from Shiny Wars into immediately having to cover the Lunar New Year event has been pretty brutal. So I'm going to go ahead and go take a personal break. I'm just going to do a watch a movie. I'm going to go Shiny Hunt, going to chillax and see how things go. I will see you guys with an outro clip later or maybe some more money-making method. We'll see how the night goes. It is only around 3.30 p.m., so it's still early in the afternoon. Uh, my day usually kind of ends on Pokemon. I try to end around 5, but I usually end up casually playing or doing thumbnails videos etc until 9 or 10 p.m or until but i never really stop working right but that's okay i'm gonna take a little bit of a break i will see you guys later peace all right yo what's up guys we are ending day two here at 4.2 million pokien i didn't really end up making any more pokien i just ended up shiny hunting coughing for a bit but that works out that's perfect i'm still well over my estimate of at least wanting 500,000 pokien per day that's been the goal so far and we're doing great there and I think we're going to have a little bit of a celebration slash surprise at the end of this series that I'm excited for. Since I ended up doing this money-making challenge during the Lunar New Year event, I think what's essentially going to end up happening is I'm going to save up all my Pokeyen for most of the beginning and middle of the event, and then towards the late middle to end of it, I'm going to spend everything. So you guys will be able to see me essentially stock up my Pokeyen and then drain it right back down. If you enjoyed this video or excited to see a kind of content like that, make sure to leave a like on the video, dislike if you didn't, comment down below feedback, subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos every single day, Discord is linked down below, and my Twitch is down below if you want to see streams Monday through Thursday at 12pm EST. That's it for me, I'll see you guys later, have a great day, peace. Yo, if you're watching this, that means you watched the entire video. So first things first, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. And if your name is on this list, that means you go above and beyond and support the channel and allow me to do what I do every single day. Thank you so much and have a great day.